No, 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 no. Right, so the reason why some is hum actually I always hum at the beginning of. Wait, hold on. I always hum at the beginning of videos, but I usually cut it off in post. But this time I'm not even going to do any post processing. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to dump it straight on the YouTube server. It's going to be a massive file and it's going to be terribly inefficient, but you know, so what? I'm going to delete it immediately after it because this is just a totally random rap. And this thing you're seeing in the background is actually a fan. Well, you should be able to tell that anyway. But this will soon be obsolete because I'll soon have air conditioning. Well, when I say soon, I don't know. With the way things have been going, it may take, you know, a zillion billion years still. But I certainly hope not. I'm going to try and get it done within the next two weeks. And that thing right above the fan, which you can't really make up too well because this is a super crappy webcam, that's um, actually a circuit breaker panel type thingy. So yeah, that's for uh, my section of the house, and it's really super duper awesome. And um, I know it doesn't really look super duper awesome because it's not supposed to be open like that and stuff. But um, I sort of chased the electrician out because it was getting late. Actually, that's not really true. Um, he he ran over time and stuff. It's boring, complicated story. But the point is that normally he wouldn't have left it like that. He's like one of these super duper technicians who's like likes to do everything perfect. Like if I could show you a close up of some of the other work that he did, you'd be like, well this stuff looks like so super duper professional. So yeah, I'll show you that some other time. I'm not sure exactly when, maybe when I actually get a camera. Interesting enough I used to have a good digital camera, but it was good in terms of the image, but it used to kill batteries so I sold it. I personally sold it to loved it because I guess I can afford to keep buying batteries and stuff. But it, it was perfect. It was um that one was, uh, I think it was an Olympus D390 or something like that. Um, you know, this was years ago. But at the time it came out, it was wonderful. Even nowadays, you know, I still use it if I could get could buy one or something. And if I had probably the um, lithium ion pack or something rather than using normal batteries. But, I mean, they're much more better cameras for the same price point and stuff. I'm just saying that if you get one used, you know, use it. I mean, the only problem I had with, with it is battery life. And if I was going to do indoor stuff where I could actually plug it in, run off an adapter, then um, I wouldn't mind at all. And it's not so much, it sort of used to drain batteries as if the batteries were a large capacitor, I mean, which, okay, batteries aren't really large capacitors, they're um, chem electrochemical reactions. But anyhow, I'm getting off on a tangent. I really just wanted to quickly do something. And if you notice the colors are distorting the stuff, that's only because of the extremely bad camera and its reaction to fluorescent lighting. Um, the lighting here is much better than it seems, although it's um, not 100% yet. I didn't do any of the lighting work or the other rewiring work. I basically just um, got the, the panel put in, got the existing wiring changed over to that panel, and um, had the line put in for the air conditioner. So the main thing is really yeah, the air conditioner so that I can actually work. Fortunately tonight is extremely cool and I have um the windows like the windows I normally have closed, I have them open and uh yeah. So and the fan is on and I'm late happy so I'm sort of late high on delirium. So I'm happy to see some progress and I'm sort of happy just because I did some exercise because I did like tours of cleaning after they left but that's exaggerating. It's probably more like 20 minutes of cleaning and the rest of the time was spent watching television and stuff like that. Um, there was a budget on TV um, last night and because it's now 1 o'clock the next day it's now 1 o'clock Thursday but Wednesday night was the second day of this two day Barbados budget thing and it was totally awesome. Um, I never knew that politics could be so extremely um, entertaining. Uh, um, yeah, if I had a working VCR, I would have taped it just for the fun of it. And um, yeah, undoubtedly, I'll probably be sued if I put up any video because uh, the local television station, CBC, is a government monopoly. Which, you know, the previous, this is what happened about the, a little over a year ago, the government changed from the DLP to the BLP, which is analogous, I guess, to, from the, Rub the Republicans to Dem Democrats or something, but not quite the same thing because. In Barbados, what happens is eventually political parties get out of touch with uh, the people they represent. So new political parties are formed and they're more in touch with the people and they take over. But um, what happened um, about 20 years ago is the new political party was the NDP, which stood for National Democratic Party. 
BLP stands for Barbados Labour Party, DLP for Democratic Labour Party. So what happened is the NDP was basically a very lame party that didn't get any supporters. Because instead of going to the supporters that nobody was listening to, which would be the youth, which would be people, say, 25 years and under, um, they, s they instead tried to go to more traditional people who were BLP or DLP supporters. Now those people are older and they're set in their ways, so whichever party they supported, they're going to keep supporting them. So the DLP not the DLP, the NDP had um total major failure and failed to get anybody at all um to really support them. So um after their epic failure, the um DLP then had three terms in office which was almost unprecedented. Most parties don't get more than two terms because people go like, Hey you're not listening to us anymore, we're gonna vote you out. And um what happened though is that the BLP at the time was too weak. So even though the the DLP was doing the usual nonsense. They weren't doing any more nonsense than normal people, than politicians normally do. This is a normal cycle. Then um, there wasn't really a better alternative. So the BLP seemed to have gotten its acting order, or the DLP got even more out of hand. And uh, whatever, for whatever reason, the government changed. Um, this was also around the time that Obama was late. It's time for change and stuff. So he basically copied the Barbadian campaign. So, so they were doing the same thing here. It's time for change. It doesn't really matter if the new person is better, because they've changed. They will um, they're not. They will not only appear to be better, but they will have an opportunity to set wrong things right. You see, when you have like um corruption and stuff, it's hard for the existing party to set it right because there's so many people you're disappoint. But when you lose power, you can say, "Hey, we lost power," uh, without really telling people, "Well, you know, I can't keep." bending or about where to do you on a fair favors. So I'm not suggesting that, you know, politics intrinsically corrupts people. I'm stating it outright. Politics intrinsically corrupts people. So that's the reason why you constantly have to change leadership or pressure leadership. You don't necessarily have to change them, but if you have strong lobbyist groups to pressure them into keeping in check and you have people exposing things like how 60 Minutes did and st used to do back before it got castrated by the tobacco industry, then, you know, things will run well. Yeah. So anyhow, um, uh, interesting things that happened in the parliamentary budget thing is that the opposition party, which is the outgoing party, which is no longer in power, they like walked out of the debate. They were like, eh, uh, we don't agree with this or something, and then left or something to that effect. I missed the moment that it happened, um, so that's why I wish I taped it or something. But I just like went sweeping or something and came out like an hour or half an hour or whatever later and then all of a sudden there were half as many people in the room I'm like what the heck and everybody's referring to um the dramatic departure and stuff and yeah so anyhow um that, I don't know if that ever happened before I know there was like things like votes of no confidence and stuff in general politics in Barbados tends to be fairly interesting when you get into the details but um, for the last 15 years or so, it's been increasingly irrelevant to people of my age group, you know, younger people. Um, in fact, it was irrelevant to older people too, but older people really are so set in the ways that they don't really realize how irrelevant everything in their life is. So, yeah, blanket, Tom, um, cruel statement. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't post this, it will probably piss people off. In fact, no, I talk so fast that nobody will understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm going to post it anyway. Maybe. Alright, later. Oh, wait, I didn't say anything positive in this whole review. Right. Um, KSK is back, and I'm so glad that he, he's planning to do a whole set of tutorials on drawing. That's cool. Even if you don't do any more tutorials on drawing, it's also cool. It's nice to know you're still alive and well. And, um, yeah, I'm going to stop here because I'm almost at 10 minutes anyhow.